Well, it was an emotional afternoon in Montpelier as state senators voted on a firearms bill that many believe will help reduce suicides across the state. That's the idea. NBC5's Stephen Biddix joins us now live from the newsroom with why this bill's backstory, uh, well, is one to pay attention to. Stephen? Yes, Stu, Liz, this bill sits especially heavy with one representative who introduced the proposal. That would be House Representative Alyssa Black. And this is because Black's son bought a gun on a Thursday morning in December of 2018 and by that evening had taken his life with it. Small measures like this will go a ways to reducing our rate of suicide. It was an emotional day for Representative Alyssa Black as her suicide prevention bill is now one step closer to becoming law after being given preliminary approval by the state Senate. Our suicide death rate in the state of Vermont is significantly higher than the national average and it is directly attributable to our high ownership of firearms. Black's son committed suicide back in 2018 with the gun he purchased earlier that morning. This bill would put a 72-hour waiting period in place between when a gun is sold and when the buyer can access it. The more time and space we can put between uh, people and access to a firearm saves lives and prevents more people uh, from acting on impulse. But some call it a violation of the Second Amendment and say the bill is an attempt at gun reform. This bill isn't much about suicide other than it's just anti-gun. Republican Senator Russ Ingalls also arguing that statistics can work both ways. Statistics are, uh, they can be uh, one way or the other depending on who, um, who uh, likes to bring them forward. There's all kinds of statistics um, about um, what the uh, values of guns are for personal protection. And so those who believe the bill is against the Second Amendment and is skewed more toward gun control than suicide prevention, Representative Black says all you have to do is look at Vermont numbers, citing that over half of the state's suicides in 2021 were due to a firearm. Ultimately, the bill passed today on a vote of 21 to 9 and will likely be given final approval Tuesday morning before it makes one more stop in the House. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, call 988 for help. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.